Hi guys, welcome back to another GDF video. Today we're checking out the Fractal Design Node 804 case. So this is the case here. I've actually already unboxed it. Uh, so pretty much with this review, what I'm gonna do is, this is our first one where we've actually been sponsored some Asus gear, some Bits Power gear, and some Kingston gear. So we're actually gonna put a system in the case. So what I'll do is I've quickly gone over the case um, already, which will come um, after this part. I just talk about sort of what features this case can do. This is a MATX dual chamber side, so your power supply goes on one side and then your sort of video card and your motherboard and all that goes on the other side. So I'll talk about it in the empty case. I'll go over what goes where and I've actually put in a quick water loop uh, in here. So this is fully water cooled. Uh, it's got one GPU. It's got about eight terabytes of storage. I managed to jam pack a heap of gear in here. I've actually been really interested to review this case. I've been sort of seeing some videos and photos about it. So um, I'm actually sort of glad I had the chance to check it out. So um, yeah, if, you, if you're not really interested in sort of seeing what's sort of inside it or you just want to see what a build system sort of looks like, you can skip straight to the end. I do actually go over it pretty quick with the empty, empty case, but once I get the gear in, um, I go over a bit more of uh, what sort of fitted, what I had troubles with. I sort of wrote down the pros and the cons, but um, just to let you know that there weren't very many cons at all. Uh, there's a heap of great things to talk about with this case. So I won't spend any more uh, time. We'll just jump in and we'll have a look. All right, so once you take it out of the box, you have the case itself over here. So it is really well packaged. You, you do get this plastic around the side just to stop any uh, slight blemishes or scratches in transport. And you also do receive a, uh, a Node 804 user guide as well. Might be hard to see in the light, but you can see it there. And that just pretty much goes through uh, swapping hard drive cages, uh, installing the power supply, and just uh, moving some of the, the things around inside because there is quite a fair bit you can do. I'll just quickly go and um, actually take the case out of the packaging. All right, so I've had to beef up the lighting a bit, uh, purely just so you'll be able to see all the aspects of the case. So what I'll probably do is cover the outside of the case first. There is quite a lot to this case. It is quite small, but there's a lot you can do with it. So I am gonna build a system in this uh, once it's done. I won't do it in video. I'll do it um, off the video, take my time. I'm actually gonna put a water cool system in, probably do rigid uh, tubing setup. Um, this video has been sponsored by Asus and also Kingston Hyperx. They've supplied me the gear for all these uh, case reviews from now on. So I'm aiming these uh, reviews towards water cooling. It seems to be sort of, that's sort of where GGF is sort of what is headed and what GGF uh, specifically does. So we'll jump straight in. Um, as you can see, it is a relatively small case. We'll do quick measurements here. So you're looking at, uh, what's that, 460 millimeters by, where are we, 370 millimeters and it's, Let's see how high it is, 300 millimeters high. So it is a relatively uh, spot on a cube just about. It's a little bit uh, longer. So you probably definitely design this towards your gaming orientated cases, gaming, home theater. It might be a little bit big for home theater, but bear in mind, this can take eight hard drives in one side. It can take another two hard drives, or I think one, actually, yeah, two extra hard drives in the front. And then you can also use that same amount for SSDs as well. So it can take a whopping amount of hard drives. So if you want a system that can fit 10 hard drives in, that's relatively small. This is definitely the case for you. So as you can see, it's got a really nice, I'll try and not get too many fingerprints on it. It is a bit fingerprint prone at the front. Nice aluminium uh, front there. And it is brushed. You can kind of see the, uh, the sort of design it's got on it. It's got the nice fractal logo. There's a nice power LED there. Moving on to your I.O. port, so you've got your two USB, you've got your power switch there, and then you've got your headphone and microphone jack, and it's also got a nice slot loader CD-ROM to save the space. And it also shows you how to install a slot loader CD-ROM drive or a DVD drive. This uh, front uh, panel pops off, and you've also got ventilation in the bottom there as well. And bear in mind, it's got plenty of fan filters. If we actually pop it upside down, you can actually see that we've got the two removable ones here and you don't actually have to pop the front off. I've, I've, I've seen some reviews that people say you have to pop the front off. To get that out, these just pop straight out. I might actually take all these out now. It'll save them from um, coming out later on. So you've got two at the front and now you've got one at the bottom on this side and one on the bottom for your power supply, which goes over this side. So I'll take those out once I um, get the back um, shown. And now we've got our nice rubber feet. So that actually they are screwed on but they actually sort of take up the corners which are really nice and they actually sort of blend in with the the corners of the case and they're really nice solid rubber feet there so moving on to the top 
sort of matches in with the front but it's just mesh so the whole thing is completely mesh and you've also got uh we've also got filters i'll see if we've got filters on there when i take it off we'll have a look and then the left side just has a nice big clear window i'm glad they put a nice big clear window in there and then on the uh right side is just completely plain so this is a drill chamber case and the water cooling capabilities for this case is huge considering the size of it so there's the uh the rear side now so your motherboard goes here it doesn't only support um matx or itx so you're not going to fit a full-size board in this is the board we'll be doing the install with it's just the um z97 maximus uh 7 gene board so that's a sweet little board there and that'll go in there it only fit up to two video cards and you've got your 120 more fan slot there and this one is installed with a 120 more fan but it can go up to one uh, 140 mil there and then you've got your power supply there all right so what i'll do is we will take off the uh take off the top so all the screws nice thumb screws they do come out all the way and then this top just slides out and then up so as you can see there is actually yeah there is a nice soft bit of mesh it's not really mesh it's just sort of foam we'll see if we can get in there it might be hard but it is like a a soft foam bit in there so that just comes off which is nice um and also the modding capabilities of this case is quite uh, decent i've seen a few of them where they've actually modded the front um it's good for vinyl wrap you can get a nice bit of vinyl wrap on there same to the top so you can actually mod this it's quite easy to paint as well all right so looking top down you can see straight away you've got support for either four fans there or you've got radiator support on each side for the two 240 mil radiators and i believe you can also fit a 280 on this side as well all right so moving on to the left side so this is where all your hardware goes so there's the side panel there it's not really flexy it's probably not the strongest side panel but it is of a decent strength all right so first off you have a little fan controller which is sata powered and that just runs like most fractal cases that just runs up here so you got high medium or low and then that just does up to one two three fans so that's a nice little uh, feature that might be a little bit too short i guess once you run it along the top you could probably just uh get that to reach and then you've got the fan cable already there and then you've got the other sleeve fan there so it does come with three pre-installed fans so that is pretty sweet that it comes with those i'll just see if it does have those it comes with the um yeah okay so the front comes with the uh one 1200 rpm fan on the front and the rear comes with the same ones again 1200 uh 1200 rpm they're the uh, silent series r2 fan from fractal so that's pretty sweet that you go get those they're probably worth like 10 10 15 bucks each so you get those three and as for the top radiator sort of mount i really do like this feature you can see if you're installing a 240 they've actually moved right towards the front so if i grab my radiator that i've got it is a relatively thin one if you mount that up here like this like that bear in mind you will have to take the front fan out but if you mount that in the front you can get it all the way towards the front so then you can drop that down kind of as low as you want it's not going to hit hit the memory because it's actually all the way towards the front so when i install that later on you'll see you see how well that works and down the bottom as well you can see it actually takes uh it takes two hard drives so you can put two ssds or two hard drives we'll just see if you can see that so if i were to grab my hard drive i can mount my hard drive like that and then i can also mount an ssd like that as well so it can do either or providing on how much room you'll have with your motherboard in there all right so moving on towards the other side okay so now this is where all your hard drives go so at the moment you can fit the four in these little cages here one two three four so that can do eight there i'll actually take this little uh take this little box out all right we might actually have a look in here so this will be all your bits and pieces that you normally get with the cases So yeah that's just your thumb screws uh your rubber washers for the uh for the hard drives and some um, zip ties just undo the front panel ports cables that's in there take out this 
gone through the hole. All right, so that's the other side there. So you can see your power supply goes here. Plenty of room there, so you're not gonna be limited by any length of power supply. You can go for as long as you want. Pretty sure the one I'll be using is a standard length. Now, with these hard drive cases, cages, you can actually move these around. Say you wanna put two radiators in the top, so one on each side, you can't put one in here now. As you can see, both of these hard drive cages are in here. What you can do is you can take both of these out and you can drop one down to the bottom. So if you wanna run four hard drives down the bottom and you wanna run a 240mm radiator on this side, you can do so, which is pretty sweet. All right, so now, to take the uh, the caddies out, you just undo the two screws on each side, and these just simply slide out. They slide in really nicely, just like that. And then I'll just take this other one out here, and that just slides out. And now what I can do is I can actually take the uh, take these top mounts off. So this is if you are installing a radiator on the top. All right, so once you take those four, actually three, they're these little plastic things. So they're the sliders for the uh, the cages. You can now comfortably fit a uh, red adder up the top. So once again, you will actually know. So you can leave the back fan on, and then that fits on there perfectly. So you've got a huge amount of room, any thickness you want, and then you power supply down the bottom. And then you can now move this. Uh, I won't take the Velcro off, but this Velcro can just come off. That's just purely for uh, cable management for your power supply. You can simply just mount this on there like that. And then you can have your four hard drives down the bottom. So you can still fit the, uh, the two 240 more radiators and then you can still do four hard drives. And you can actually even fit more hard drives in the front. We'll just have a look at that in a tick. I'll just remove the fan filters in the bottom. If I can, actually it goes out towards the front. So that's the one for the power supply. And then the one for the bottom. Probably don't really need one on this side, but they've added it anyway, which is pretty sweet. Um, bear in mind, this case is relatively light. The total weight is around six kilos. So it is quite uh, light for sort of a jam-packed system. So if you are taking this to LAN parties and things like that, um, it's not gonna break your back. All right, so, all right, so pulling the front off, we now get the inside of the front. So I'll kind of rotate that around. All right, so what you can do is you can fit your two SSDs in here like so so if you are sort of having any issues you can refer to the uh, you can refer to the builders guide it's actually really really handy um, I haven't really seen too many um, so it's got this like optional optional steps we'll see if we can get that on and then it actually tells you how to fit the uh, optical drive so it goes up in here you do get the bracket that comes in it and it shows you how to pull that off and it shows you how to um, to mount two SSDs, so they will slide in there like that. I'll see if I can just quickly get one to slide in. So your two SSDs will slide in there like that. Now I've had some people saying that, well, you're gonna get all your dust inside because you've actually got the filter here, but if you actually look, it's actually vented that the, the air goes straight in. So in the case, you don't actually get any airflow up around, uh, up to the uh, SSDs up there, sorry. So you're not gonna get all dust in your, uh, in your SSDs up there. So one more thing I'll just go over is the actual full water cooling capabilities of this case. Now that I've actually got all the sides and the top and the front off. So you can actually fit, the front can actually take two to 40 more radiators, one on each side. Now bear in mind, if you do have the front ones in, you then can't use the top ones because you're gonna simply be, like your radiator is gonna be coming out to here. So you're gonna lose the top side. So um, you just have to remember, you can't use everything um, that it's designed for at once, which is pretty standard for most cases. Often you can't use all, all the slots, all the fan uh, sort of supports for radiators and that. So it is good that they've added them, you just can't use them all at once. So your top can take a 240 mil on this side. And as, as I said before, the left side can take a 240 or a 180. But bear in mind, if you put a one, sorry, not a 180, a 280, you will be right up against the motherboard on this side. So it will have to be a relatively thin one. But if you use a 240, it can sort of come down before the motherboard and it will clear your memory. Um, and then on the rear, as standard, like most cases, you can fit a, uh, you can fit 120 mil radiators on the rear. You could probably fit a, um, probably fit a uh, 140 on, on this side. I'm not sure, you can definitely fit a 120 there, but this does give you 140 mil fan holes, but maybe they've done that just to give you some clearance for the power supply or something, because they haven't actually uh, mentioned that you can fit a 140 
on that side. So um, what I'll probably do now, um, I did sort of rush that a bit, but what I'll do is I'll fill this up with some gear and then I'll get a great idea and come back to you and see, see how everything went, see if I had any issues. I'll actually put some uh, mechanical hard drives in. I'll put some SSDs. So I've got a few hard drives here. I've got an SSD to install. I will be, I've only got one radiator, unfortunately. So I'll probably put that on, uh, on this side or maybe this side and you'll get an idea on how it sort of fits. And I'll come back to you and I'll do sort of a better overview once it's got some gear in. Okay, so here's the final build. I will say I was really impressed working on this build. I pretty much had uh, better success with this case than some of the full towers I've worked on uh, in the past. So I was really happy with that. So we'll go on some of the um, some of the pros. Uh, just some of the little things. Uh, you get the motherboard riser tool. So you know how you have to put in the uh, the eight or so motherboard risers. You get the little tool that sort of goes over those, and then you can just use the standard Phillips uh, Phillips screwdriver. So it's just that one there. Um, it's also got a huge motherboard cutout, so you can see how absolutely massive that is. I've actually had cases, even full-size tower cases, where I put the motherboard in and it still hasn't lined up properly. Uh, another thing is it has the pre-installed fans. It has the one, two, three. There, it seems like they've actually extended those fan leads. So I managed to get those. This front one I could route all the way along the front and towards the back, so they weren't just your traditional. Uh, 15 centimeters or so and another thing I really did like is when this top comes off It's so good to be able to work in a case where the top comes off and you can sort of work down on it That's probably something that you miss on a full-size tower. You can't just uh, easily slide the top off So that was a huge bonus. So yeah, once the top uh, does come off, I'll just show you a little bit closer It was just so much easier sort of routing the cables. I actually even put an LED strip You can just see it. It runs along here in here and then along here so if this top couldn't come off there's no way i could do this i actually did the led strip last so that was pretty sweet to do that and i also it's hard to see but i've also managed to fit in um height like uh, double height memory sort of the higher stuff i've got some kingston beast and i've also got some kingston fury so i've got two uh different heights of memory uh, I think I've got a photo which is a better shot just to clearly show you how the radiator is pushed all the way to the front Providing you use the 240 because the uh, the 280 it would need the uh, the back ones, but um, it just clearly shows that you can actually still get quite a bit of room there. So if you've got larger memory, especially on a smaller case like this, I thought it was a really great idea that they uh, that they thought of doing that. And even just things like getting these drives in, having this top cage off is just so much easier to work with. All right, so now we just covered that. We'll just have a look at the. Um, I also did like how the front, the front uh, you can sort of hide, is a good place to hide your cables. I was able to actually, um, I actually did this build really quick. I only spent about an hour and a half doing this whole water cooled system. So once you've got your cables sort of in the front, uh, you can simply just uh, sort of keep them loose in there and you can just push this straight back. And they've actually given you enough room that all your cables will just stay in there, no worries. So um, probably, you'd probably spend a bit more time doing a build, but for me, it was actually turned out really good for that. And now here's the other side. This is a little bit more messier. Uh, I've got your LED sort of power source there. I've got one hard drive cage in. So this is where the other one uh, could have gone. I guess if I used a smaller res or had a different res option, I probably could have uh, could have got the other hard drive in a, a cage. I could have nearly got the eight spots. Or if I wanted some better water cooling, I could have gone with a sort of a, a smaller half height reservoir. And then I could have got another radiator up the top here providing I didn't need uh, as much storage as, as this because most of the time eight, I got eight terabytes in this you probably don't need eight terabytes in a system like this I guess if you're using it as a gaming rig you could go for more water cooling if you're using it as a, a home theater PC you could go with this option and have the larger storage and uh, as you can see there's plenty of room for the um, for the power supply this is quite a uh, quite a small power supply your sort of standard more squarish ones you could probably fit like a larger uh, 1200 watt or something in there quite easily all right so that's that we'll have a look at some some of the things that were slight issues not huge issues um, some people might pick up on them the um the case didn't come with uh or didn't come with the motherboard mounts uh already installed now to me that is no issue at all because um i don't mind installing them it did come with the tool but people might think that hey it's matx it can only fit one size they could probably throw them in but that's no here or there uh, one other thing to mention if you are running a uh wanting to put a radiator in the front you'll probably notice that there is literally no room for the uh the gpu and the radiator so i can just fit my finger down 
beside this uh, 780 Asus 780 Poseidon, and it just fits on there. So you pretty much have no no uh, luck trying to fit a radiator as well. So if you're doing a small compact GPU, you could fit a radiator in there, and um, and not be able to um, to have like a full length GPU. Another thing is the second GPU. If you want to put two air cooled GPUs in here, it would be a really tight. I guess if you if you were going to put two air cooled ones in, you'd probably water cool them both, and you'd probably have, have them single slot. The only only reason why this one's not single slot is because it's a um, it's a Rog Poseidon, and they use the hot hybrid air and uh, water cooling. But um, but yeah, I guess if you had two single slot GPUs, you could put the two radiators up the top, and it would make a pretty uh, a pretty beast system. Um, and then if you are using the um, this hard drive here as well, that'll also stop you from running a. Uh, a second video card so you could fit two SSDs and a second air cooled video card but you just couldn't fit this um, the two the two sorry uh, standard size uh, mechanical hard drives in there because they're just a little bit a little bit too tight down there but um, bear in mind this case is one of the smallest cases I've actually used like the Corsair 250D is probably a little bit smaller than this not a huge amount and you can't really fit much in that at all um, but yeah that's um that's pretty much it um, of covering the case with the gear and just one one more thing I want to stress about is you cannot simply use all the radiator uh, spots that's allocated at once like just this is not a full-size tower so you can't fit the 240 here the 240 here and the uh, 2240s here and especially the uh, the two 120 mils on the back so you're going to fit about two ra two radiators um, at any one time which I think is fair enough especially for a case uh, of, of this size all right, so just before I do finish off this review, I thought I may as well just turn it on. Uh, all the fans are currently cranked at full ball, so it might be a bit noisier. So it is pretty noisy, but this has the, um, I could have even put another fan, possibly, uh, I, actually I could have, could have had another fan at the front at the top. Uh, I could have got the two more fans on the, uh, on the right side at the front and it, I just left the two stock ones in there. So I could have actually put more fans in if I needed, but, um, but this is just a build just to show you what you can use and I'll be tearing this down shortly. So, But that's it there, everything running. Bear in mind the six kilo weight of the empty case now is probably, or oh, it's probably about 15, 20 kilos. This little monster is heavy now. So uh, just bear in mind if you are going to um, land parties now, it does sort of get heavy rather quickly. Alrighty, so that's it for this review. As you can see, you can fit plenty of gear inside the Node 804. I was really impressed. Um, I pretty much had high expectations going into it because I have seen this in the flesh before. But um, as you could clearly see, there's not much uh, not to like about this case. Um, I can't really think of anything at all. I've seen a few people say that they're expected to sort of fit uh, fit everything that's mentioned, but I can understand that you're not always going to fit the, the eight hard drives in the right side chamber. You're not going to be able to fit uh, three plus uh, radiators at once. It's just not going to happen, especially in a case this size. You're, you're going to need a full tower case to be able to utilize all the radiator spots and all the hard drive spots. But I managed to fit the three hard drives, the SSD, the one GPU. If I had single slot GPUs, I could have fit two in there. Uh, you just can't fit the uh, two standard height or two uh, double width GPUs with the uh, mechanical drive on the bottom. It just won't fit. So that's pretty much the only downside. But um, if you plan this build out, um, I will say that you should plan this build out. Don't just grab the water cooling gear you have floating around because uh, you do need to uh, make some tight bends and, uh, and some things like that. It probably would have been a bit easier if I used uh, just standard flexi tubing, but I decided to go all out and use the, uh, use the hard rigid just to make it look a little bit better. So um, I just want to say thanks to Fractal Design for sending this out. I will have this on display at the next UDF in February. Unfortunately, I probably won't have this system uh, built up inside it. Um, I may have the motherboard, but uh, this, the guts of this system have to go out into another review case, which I'm doing soon. But um, but yeah, come along. We'll have four cases on display. We're also getting an R5, the new R5 in white with the window, and we'll have the two core series cases, which we've re reviewed earlier, uh, sorry, later last year. So come check those out. And um, yeah, thanks again for Factual, and stay tuned for more videos in the future.